Rose. And welcome back everyone. Well, the weather has been so nice for the past five or six days. Why not get outside and enjoy the beautiful scenery in the area? This, of course, the iconic Garden of the Gods. And Linda says she was out for a birthday hike there earlier today. So we want to wish Linda a happy birthday and thank you for tuning in here to News 5 at 6 this evening. Now, this is from our very own Jake Gaden, one of our sports supporters here at News 5. And he was out of Breck on Peak 9 doing some skiing. I've skied with Jake plenty of times. And I know that he can tackle these bumps with some authority, and I'm sure he was having a good time out there today on one of his days off from work. Temperatures today very warm once again, much like what I said a few seconds ago. It's been warm since the weekend with many days in the 60s for Pueblo and the Springs. Lows this morning down to the teens in Pueblo, but due to some winds coming off these slopes of the mountains, only down to around 28 in the Springs early this morning. Right now we are cooling down, and tonight we're going to call it the calm before the storm. Classic setup here in Southern Colorado as we have an area of low pressure to our west, which is going to pump in some moisture and some much colder air to the area as we make our way into Thursday. Right now in Pueblo, it's 48 degrees, 18 percent humidity, light northeast winds under 10 miles per hour. Also looking good at Canyon City, dry skies tonight, mild temperatures still this evening with temperature outside around 54 degrees. And finally take you out towards Trinidad where it's 40 with those winds coming out of the west around 10 miles per hour. So let's get right into the action. We've been tracking the storm since late last week here at News 5, and these are the impacts we expect to see from Thursday through Saturday. The wind will come with the cold front early tomorrow morning. Not going to see a big burst of wind. It's going to be pretty short in terms of duration. Gust around 20 to 40, so we'll see low to medium impacts for that. Snow and visibility, medium impacts, and the cold expected to be one of the higher impacts you'll feel and you'll notice over the next couple of days as highs by Friday and Saturday only in the 20s and 30s in many areas. So tomorrow considerable cloudiness in the air, but notice no sign of any precipitation from 7 to noon to 3 p.m. The big story tomorrow is that your highs are going to drop down about 20 degrees. So the cold front moves south late this evening, but I don't think it arrives here in southern Colorado until tomorrow during the pre dawn hours. This is the leading edge of that front, and I think it's going to be windiest from the Pikes Peak region out east towards uh, Crowley and also Kiowa counties. Those spots could see gusts around 20 to 40. You can see by the noontime hours, some of the strongest gusts begin to recede. So that's one component of the storm. The other is going to be a series of disturbances that bring in better chances for some snow. It's been a while since we've seen snowfall in the Pikes Peak region in southern Colorado. I think by four o'clock, the mountains start to get some moisture, and then it looks like by tomorrow night into Friday morning, that's the first wave of snowfall. Then we get a break Friday afternoon, late in the day, through the overnight hours and into early Saturday morning before another round moves off the mountains. And this one, not really that impressed with the latest model run, but we're going to keep in a chance of snow because we still could see some snow showers later on Saturday into very early Sunday. So the snow accumulation graphic does account for both rounds of snow. And it'll be a healthy dose. Three to six expected around Monument Woodland Park. will be one to four in Pueblo, one to three La Junta. 5 to 10 for La Vida and 2 to 5 in Walsenburg. Your lows tonight going to be most mild on the eastern slopes of the mountain ranges. We'll be down to 32 in the springs, 22 for Pueblo, low 30s around La Vida, Walsenburg, and Trinidad. And those highs tomorrow, you'll want to bundle up because big changes are on the way here in southern Colorado. And if you think that 44 is cold, take a look at Friday and Saturday highs only in the lower 30s, up a bit Sunday as we dry out. Monday looks beautiful with a high of 48. For Pueblo, we'll be at 46 as Hanukkah begins tomorrow night. Night number one to light up the menorah. 33 on Friday and 36 on Saturday. Still cold Sunday, though, as we're drying out. We start to warm up a bit. Canyon City will see mid-40s on Thursday. Low 30s expected Friday. We have a one and a two on the impact scale for those two days there in Canyon City. And it looks like we go twos on the impact scale in Woodland Park as we could see an excess of six inches of snow in parts of Teller County before it's all said and done. 